Hey Drift fans, Creaky here from the Kitchen Shed at Drifter. Just gonna have a quick look around and show you some kitchens that some people might not have seen before. Let's go. Just another busy Thursday here at Drifter. Everyone's in here working away. We've got people laminating their parts in their kitchens, people working at their benches, getting the kitchens ready. I'd like to show you some of the smaller kitchens that we can do here that we've got set up outside. Let's go have a look. We got John back. John's been away visiting family and friends, doing some holidaying up in the Whit Sundays, but he's back on deck now, ready to go. I've got a few kitchens set up over here that I'd like to show you. Um, some people might be aware of the kitchens that we do for the camper trailers, like our dock trailers, having big kitchens in the back of trailers, getting towed behind vehicles. We also do a range of smaller kitchens that are more portable. So if you've even just got a car or a, or a four-wheel drive with no trailer, we can make little kitchens that are portable, which you can fit in the back of any car, and it'll still get you out there set up cooking in the bush like you're supposed to. So we've got a variety of kitchens here. These are three new versions of the carback kitchen that we're making. People may be familiar with the carbacks that we've been doing for a long time, carpeted, carpeted units. These ones are lacquered and they come in three different sizes. We've got one here that fits a single burner butane stove. So that's a single stove carback kitchen. Fit your little butane cooker in there. We've got a little fold down front. Some storage inside there, big fold over bench, lots of preparation bench space. A couple of drawers in here for storing your bits and pieces. And even a little cupboard section in the end there to put some stuff in and keep it tucked away in there as well. Next one up is what we call the one and a half burner. We've started stocking in these butane units here which are a great little stove. They've got a big glass lid and a big frying pan that sits in there like that. So you can cook up a mountain of food in that for a whole family. Again, it's got that little fold down front, which can double up as a little work preparation area. Storage in there. A couple of drawers. All your other bits and pieces. This one is the two burner car back kitchen. It fits an LPG two burner stove in there. Fits in there, again, fold over bench space, storage underneath, drawers for all your bits and pieces. All of these kitchens are on the adjustable leg systems that we make here at Drifter. All made in house, all four points on the leg are individually adjustable. So if you're setting up outside of the car and it's a bit of an uneven ground, you can set it up, get it balanced off nice and neatly. The leg that's on the end of the bench here is adjustable as well, so you can get that leveled off and it gives you a nice flat working space to make your lunch, your dinner, and cook for the family. Also got this little unit over here. Got this one set up on one of our drifting camping tables. That's a six by 1200 drifter camping table. This is called a small travel kitchen. This is a small portable unit again. It's got a fold over lid, held down with a couple of straps, leg on top, folds over, and gives you a millimeter of bench space there. It's also got a storage drawer in the top here, a little cutlery divider so you can put some small things in there, put your other utensils in here. Stows away nice and neatly inside there latched in closed by the push button latches. To get into the inside, I've got a couple of bungee straps here that pull down the front. Again, a little laminated work surface there. That cavity there will fit a single burner butane stove in its little carry case. Slops nicely in there. You can just pull it out, set it up on here, and away you go. A couple of pigeon holes there to fit other bits and pieces in, and then you're set up and good to go. It goes great with a camping table. It's only a small unit, so probably a bit low to be working off the ground level with one of these. Pair it up with a drifter camping table and you've got a great setup. All packs away, nice and simple, nice and clever. Front straps away, lid comes over, leg clicks into place, a couple of straps, and it's done. And you've got a portable unit that you can put in the back of your car and take and take with you anywhere, full of your camping gear. So I just thought I'd give people a look at some of these small units that we've got. As I said, people are probably familiar with the big package deals we do in trailers. But these are some of the more small portable units that can go in any person's car at all. So thanks for having a watch, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.